Oh, you want a, a little bit of trivia? I'll oh, get let's... you something. This one is oh. really, really good. Okay, this one's more fun. You oh, remember yeah, the yeah, Pepsi yeah, Challenge? Yeah. Okay. Well, the Pepsi Challenge started in New England. And the fellow that ran it was in here. And he says, oh, yeah, well, you know, we started the Pepsi Challenge. But it was originally a three-way challenge. It was Coke, Pepsi, and RC. He said, now, we didn't have any trouble beating Coca-Cola, but we could never beat RC, so we just eliminated them from the channel. <laughs> that's one way to do it. That's, that's the way they did it. On this episode, we meet up with a living legend, the king of pop, so to say. You don't want to miss visiting this busy Los Angeles landmark. Well, first of all, our hours are 9 to 6.30 daily, 9 to 4 on Sunday. Those are the operating hours. Awesome. And when did it start? Well, it started back in 1897 with a man by the name of Gagliotti. And then he took in a partner by the name of Corte Posse. And by 1940, my father became partners with uh, Corte Posse. About 1950, my father moved this, the, the business from downtown Los Angeles up here to, to the Highland Park area of Los Angeles. How many different soda varieties do you have? About 750. 750. Yes. Can you name them all? No. <laughs> that was, that was a very fast answer you, with the amount. <laughs> I mean, even if you go on the website, we don't list them all. This is John Neese. He's a humble man with a passion for some bubbly sweet stuff. Do you carry any sodas from around the, from outside the United States? Oh, of course. I mean, there's lots of sodas. I mean, you, you find, have you ever had a Jay Gasco from Italy? This one happens to be a violet soda. Hmm. And it's, it's really hard to make a, a violet flavor. How about the ones next to them? Now, this is a gentleman soda, and these come from Greece. This is not just an orange soda. This is a bergamot orange soda. It is absolutely delicious. I mean, when I tasted it for the first time, I got on the phone the next day and I called them up and I said, you guys got a winner. This is delicious. And then we have, you know, we have the Club Mate from Germany. We've only had it about three or four years now. Everybody's looking for it, but we've had it for almost since the beginning. Africa. This is 1896 Germany. We've had this one for about 10, 15, 20 years now. Are you familiar with kvass? I am not. Okay, well this is kvass. And I keep running out of it. And there was a couple in from Hungary. And they said, oh, well you can find that all over Eastern Europe and all of the Baltic countries. This one comes from uh, Latvia, I'm sorry, Latvia. Somebody said it tasted like a sour beer, but it's non-alcoholic. And it's made with wheat and different things. Why are glass bottles better than plastic? Because, well, when I talk about glass bottles, I'm not just talking about I'm not just talking about uh, sodas. I'm talking about canned beer. I've been around for steel cans, aluminum cans, bimetal cans, plastic line cans, and everything. And at, I will tell you, at the end of the day, they all wind up tasting like a can. Do people pick sodas out at your store like they do at a wine shop? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 they ask me what I think or if I'll make a suggestion. I said, tell me what you like and I'll make, and I'll try to get something as close as possible to what you're looking for. I can't tell you what's best. There is no such thing as what's best. John, can you show us your favorite cola? No, I don't have favorites. No, you don't have your favorite? <laughs> but I will, yeah. No, I don't have no? favorites, but I'll show you a cola. And I'll tell you why I like it. Do you remember when Coca-Cola used to have a bite? and it doesn't anymore. Oh yeah. Do you remember that? It's, it's a little softer now. Okay. What that was, that bite, was actually because Coca-Cola had lemon and orange in their, in their original formula. And I really like that. And all the colas, none of them today have it. And then this one with this goofy label, I tasted it and I went, oh my goodness, it has the bite. But this one just has lemon in it. So. You know, if you get a Coke or you buy something and you want the bite, put lemon and orange in it. By the way, somebody right. sent me half the formula to Coke for Cola. Really? This guy back east, he had the formula. Wait, uh, half the formula? Uh, I, yeah, and it was right around 1900, the formula. Yeah. And he says, I can't show you, I can't send the whole thing to you, so I'm just going to send you half of it. <laughs> and, and, the, and the formula it was handwritten. It wasn't dated, but it was from a gay old bottler in Louisiana. Hmm. And they bottled Coke for Cola also. And, and the formula called for lemon and orange. Since most of John's sodas are made with real cane sugar, we asked him to settle a bet. If you go to Mexico and buy a Coca-Cola in Mexico, 
from a Mexican, yes, it's going to taste better. It's made with cane sugar. Did we hear you have your own soda oh, the making? Soda creation station. Yeah. Yeah, we did this. I'm going to tell you why we did it, okay? I had been thinking about it. You see this? All it does is pump car uh, carbonated water. It's set up, and, and we have different bottles of syrups. We have probably about 90, it runs right around 90, maybe 100, just to pay 85 bottles up here, just depending on the time. And uh, you can make whatever, whatever you want yeah. to do. Now, John, would you honor us in making one of your concoctions no, for us? No, I'm not going to make one. You can make your own. <laughs> it's the bottle. All you got to do is take it. There's a, sh uh, a shoulder line right here. Just fill it with water just above the shoulder line. Okay. Take eight or nine full pumps and you'll come up to mid-neck. Okay. If you don't take full pumps, just take it up until you get up to mid-neck. You put a cap on it, seal it, turn it over, and you're ready to go. Okay. All right, let's go. And then I'm going to tell you, in the meantime, what's going on. Okay, well, let me tell you what, what happened, okay? I get a bus coming in here with about 30 people on it, and it's from Pepsi Cola headquarters. And the guy's name is Rios. And he comes in and he says, we want to learn about craft sodas. And I, I want to see your soda creation station. So he comes back here, he looks at it, and he looks at it and he's going, hmm, this isn't very sophisticated. Um, and I looked at him and I said, the problem with everything today is it's so sophisticated, it's not any fun. And he never said another word after that. They turned around, they walked around, they made sodas, they did whatever they had to do and they left. And that was the last time I heard of them. More. There you go. You felt that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And, and then just I turn it, it upside down. And you see how it mixes? Yeah. So all of your flavors are mixed. And you can be as creative as you want to be. Now, we noticed that um, Huell Hauser was in here a couple of times. What do you remember most? Oh, the last time I saw him, we were walking out the door together. Oh, there's two things. This is the, this is the last one. We were walking out the door together, and he said to me, you know, John, long after you and I are gone, they're still going to be showing that show. And that was the last thing that I remember with Joe Hauser. But the thing that got me the most was the first show, and my mother, she was so nervous. And she was really nervous, and she put her head down, and she, and she was explaining what she was doing to stay focused. And she, she turned to him, she didn't turn, she just put her head down, and she says, I'm more, more nervous now than I was on my wedding night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was making the blockbuster, right? Yeah, when she was making the blockbuster. And, and Huell just gave her the biggest hug. <laughs> Along with the biggest selection of sodas you have ever seen, John sells some pretty cool vintage sweets. So what brings you to uh, Galico Soda Shop? Huell Hauser. Same. Same thing? <laughs> Which episode, the first one or the second one? <laughs> you know, probably the combination of both. I don't even remember. Yeah. I, you know, it's hard to tell. What do you have here? I have an Abba Zabba, which was a hit song by Captain Beefheart. Abba Zabba Zoo or something like that, I don't remember. Jujubees, which will get stuck in your teeth and, and directly send you to a dentist. A so classic. That's a really, really good. A dentist endorsed. Rolos, <laughs> because I love this place. I thought I'd just get some Rolos and a cup of gold. Which, if you haven't had a cup of gold, so. oh my gosh! <laughs> and what, and what do oh, you have, have, Martha? I have the candy buttons. I don't even know these are these are all from my childhood. Thing. I'm giving them to my my sisters for Christmas. Pop rocks, Boston baked beans, and these things. Those are the Remember ones. those? Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's just so nostalgic. So fun, huh? Yeah. yeah. You could probably spend a couple hours in here, right? Yeah, and then the soda pops are all great too, and a lot with cane sugar, so you know, that's gotta be better. We think what are those? Look at that. That's a frosty root beer. That thing looks like it was made when I was a kid, okay? <laughs> so it's gotta still be good, I'm sure. <laughs> Galco Soda Pop Shop proves it's one of those places where people can connect with their past while discovering new treasures. Don't be in such a hurry when you come here. If you're lucky enough, John will strike up a conversation with you and you'll understand why this place has been in business since 1897. Can we go plug the music back? Yes. I have people coming in, the husband say, 
Well, I came for the music. The, the wife say, I came to shop. The husband <laughs> say, we came for the music. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed this adventure. As always, links are in the description to find more information on Galco Soda Pop Shop. Please help us out and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the next one. And until next time, bye-bye.